Hello from a rather wet and miserable Friday the 5th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. Now data this week has given the market a little hope that the UK economy may be on an upward trajectory now. No doubt Sunak will call that he claimed it, but even a broken clock is right twice a day. Um, PMI data reported the manufacturing sector is expanding, fuelled by growing demand to buy British after Brexit. Now there's a slogan perhaps we should get behind, buy British after Brexit. Uh, Meanwhile, the housing sector is holding its own with mortgage approvals rising um, and a rate cut is around the corner with inflation continuing to fall. Most feel that the MPC meeting on May the 9th will be too soon for a rate cut. Wider market expectation is for a cut to come at the June meeting. Now that's all well and good of course, but it's non-farm Friday today. So as the market looks forward to uh, the payrolls data, we should probably crack on with the sweepstake. US employment data has been pretty encouraging so far this week. 8.75 million job openings beat forecast for 8.74 million. And the ADP report smashed forecast for private sector new jobs. Either that, or it was a dyslexic typo, because 184 was reported against 148 forecast. The only fly in the ointment was the weekly jobless number yesterday, um, which reported slightly higher job losses than expected. But the main event is non-farm payrolls, and any correlation with the other data is usually coincidence, so there is everything to play for in the sweepstake. The forecast is for 200,000 new jobs this month. A miss here would ramp up the pressure for the Fed to cut rates, while another strong number would um, give them a little more breathing space and a bit more time to play with. So where do you think we'll be when the data drops at 1.30 today? Pop your bid in the comments below to play along and win, lose or draw. You'll see your name in lights on the whizzy little results graphic later on today. Me? I'll be playing for hashtag team over again this month. I'm kicking things off with a bid of 275,000 new jobs. Good luck to you.